What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking a look at what is basically the most luxurious Class A diesel pusher motorhome you can get in the smallest size. This is the Newmar New Air 3545. Is that correct, babe? 3545? Okay, this is my wife here. She's here with me as well. Um, we're actually here at Holiday World of Willis. You can't see the sign. It's behind this motorhome. So I drove down here to our Willis store just outside of Houston to come get a bunch of videos for y'all of motorhomes and different RVs that we don't carry at my Dallas location, or it's actually technically Mesquite just outside of Dallas. This is one of them here, and my wife, uh, this thing stood out to her immediately <laughs> when she saw this. I don't think she's seen anything like this in person before prior to now. So really luxurious Class A diesel pusher motorhome. We're gonna walk through this thing together with y'all and show you everything about it inside and out. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So again, this is the 2022 Newmar New Air and it is the 3545 floor plan. You'll be able to see the specs up on the screen as well as the floor plan layout. Now, what makes this so unique is the total length bumper to bumper is only about 35 feet, 10 inches. So if you're looking for a big premium diesel pusher motorhome, and I guess I shouldn't say big, I should be more just like luxurious but in a smaller size than maybe like, you know, a 40 to 45 foot motorhome, this is going to be that smaller size design for you to get you in something that is maybe more comfortable to drive, can get you in more places across the country, get you into country clubs, stuff like that, that maybe a bigger diesel pusher might struggle with or, you know, might be more difficult to find space for. So 35 feet, 10 inches. Um, it is on the Spartan chassis. It also has a Freightliner chassis option, but the, uh, the Freightliner chassis is actually what it comes standard on. And then it has the option for the Spartan chassis, which is what this one is on here. And now most of y'all know that watch my videos, I am located out of Dallas, Texas. Um, our Holiday World of Dallas store is in Mesquite, which is about 20 minutes outside of Dallas. But I'm currently here at Holiday World of Willis, which is where this motorhome is located at. It's right off of 45 here. Now. I am in a sales position with Holiday World. I do not get paid to come out here and make these videos. I drove three hours down here literally just to make videos of RVs that they have here at our Willis location that I don't get up at my Dallas location in hopes that someone like you that is watching this video might find something that you like, whether it's this one or another RV on my page. And I will have given you enough information and hopefully built enough trust with you that you might consider reaching out to me to help you out in purchasing your RV when the time comes that you're ready. So you will find a link down below in the description to contact me. You can leave your name and contact information and what RV you are looking at so that I can best help assist you. Um, again, I am at the Mesquite location. So if you select that location, it will come directly to my inbox. Or if you don't mind who you work with, maybe you don't particularly like me, but you like this RV. If you go and use that uh, link in the description down below, that will still allow you to pick any one of our Holiday World locations. And you can select this Holiday World of Willis location and a salesperson here can get you all the purchasing information that you need for this motorhome. All right, now that that's all out of the way, um, let's get into this thing going inside and out. We're gonna kind of walk around the front and then work our way to the back. So going up to the front, you have an 8,000 watt um, diesel generator here. It is a quiet diesel generator up front. Really nice looking front end here. Um, kind of like my wife, she has a Lexus that has automatic, um, what is it, your automatic brights that come on. So her um, fog lights, they come on and off automatically. This here is gonna have a similar feature with that as far as I understand. And let me preface everything with this too. I am no certified RV expert, all right? So I have been in this industry for three years now. My family has had RVs for the past 15 years. 
and I know quite a bit. I know a lot more than the average person, I would say, but I still don't know absolutely everything. So if there is anything that I miss, anything that I misspeak on, I'm certainly not meaning to. Just let me know down below in the comments if I miss something or if I misspeak on something so you can add that value in the comment section for other viewers. But let's keep going. You're going to have really nice looking side mirrors here. They are gonna be power controlled and heated. You'll have your side camera on the side, so that will be perfect at street level so you can see everything going on and then you will have a color display um, for your monitors inside. We'll look at all that when we get inside though. You do have a um, touch pad here coming in for your lock and then a nice grab handle. And then coming around this side, you're going to have 90 gallons of fuel capacity, I'm pretty certain of. And you're going to have fuel supplies on or fuel tanks on both sides of the coach. So if you're pulling through a gas station, you can actually fill up both sides at the same time to speed up your time that you're filling up. So that is something that is nice as well. And then as we look up, you're going to have the Gerard awnings over your windows. So these are going to be like little mini awnings that will cover your windows here. And then you have the more full awnings that will come out and cover your whole kind of exterior space here for your shade. But you have these nice little awnings to cover your windows, maybe if it's raining outside or something like that and you still wanna be able to open the windows, you have those. And you do have the slide toppers on your slide outs with the metal protectors over there that will protect the top of those when they are pushed in. So that's a nice little added feature as well. And you can kind of see right here too, you have a little bit of protection there as that awning goes over the lip of that slide out. So really nice high quality awning. Um, it looks like there's another awning that'll come out right here as well. And you do have LED light strips up underneath there. And as we come and open some of these storage bays, first of all, you're going to have, this is a Dometic portable freezer. So really nice freezer that you have here. Now this I'm sure, I would imagine you can set to different temperatures, thank you. Um, I imagine you'd be able to set this to different temperatures here, but I haven't played around with it too much. Everything I've heard so far is that it's a portable freezer, but I would imagine you could probably just get refrigerator temperatures in there too if you wanted to. So that's really cool on the slide out tray. And then we'll open up some of these other bays here. Um, you have a couple different sliding trays. So again, this is an option that you can add on here. Same with this one. These storage trays will actually come out on a power belt that you have right there. So that is pretty neat as well. Uh, something that is an option that this Numar was ordered with. Um, this one is pretty cool too, because this door doesn't have a handle on it. You actually go and reach right there and then you have a really big space under here. You also have some additional spare tiles and then you can see how there's multiple LED lights throughout your storage areas underneath here. And then I also want to point out I mean, it is rock solid underneath there. That is amazing just how rock solid it is. It's all carpet lined underneath here. Just so just really, really high quality um, build that you get there in the build quality. Cool. And then coming back this way, this here, you're gonna have some of your fuses back in here and then you do have an outlet in here too. So if you wanted to plug in, maybe you have like a margarita machine or something like that you wanna put in this bay, you can do that there. Have an LED light strip as well and close that up. Keep coming to the back. We'll look at all these bays here, just see what we're working with. Have more storage in there that's LED lit. And then you have some of your batteries back here for the engine. Coming around to the back, definitely has a really beautiful looking back end here. And you have the um, diesel engine. This is gonna have um, 450 horsepower, which is a ton for this size motorhome, and 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Again, it is on the Spartan chassis, and this can tow up to 10,000 pounds. So no issue really with towing a vehicle behind here. A lot of things people have to consider when looking at like class A motorhomes that have maybe never thought about this before, and this is a brand new idea. Whenever you get to where you're going, unless you wanna pack up your whole campsite and take this motorhome to go drive into town or something like that, most people will tow a vehicle off the back. So when you get to your campsite, maybe you're in the Rocky Mountains or something like that, cause I'm from Colorado and that's my point of reference that I always point to. But say you're in the mountains and you're, you know you wanna go in and drive into a little mountain town to go explore, but your campsite is 20 minutes away. Instead of having to pack up your whole motorhome, most people will tow a vehicle off the back. So you can leave your motorhome at the campsite and then take maybe a Jeep or something out to your campsite. Coming around to this side, you're going to have your other two slide outs here. So three slide outs in total on this motorhome. And then we're gonna open up some of these storage bays here. This is gonna be your death tank. So you're gonna have a 15 gallon 
depth tank there. As we move along, you also have a couple different lights to point out. Lights here that will shine out. And I haven't got these on, but you do have LED lights all up under the slide out as well. So all your slide outs will have lights that will illuminate the space underneath them. So you can see what you're doing from those as well. Really, really nice looking wet bay area here with all your water connections. Um, really, really clean looking. You see you have a water filter built in, stuff like that. And then little touches like this where like you have your water hose on a power reel and then it just goes through this little compartment there so that you can keep your door closed, still have seals there to prevent, you know, weather and stuff from coming in through that cavity and close your door, but have the water hose coming out. Go ahead and close that, babe. Um, this is gonna be your emergency exit door. So we'll see that when we go inside. Pretty unique to have that there as well. You have the Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system here. So a really nice high quality heating system that you have your electric power cord reel. You can see how the power cord comes through here so you can still close it. And then you have your central vac for outside as well. Also looks like that was probably some sort of a satellite connection there if you wanted to use that, I would imagine, I'm thinking. Um, that's pretty much everything back in this area. Again, that can close up your power cord, just comes down through like that. You can see we're plugged into power right here. So you can still close that door with the power cord coming out. Access to more storage inside here. Um, access to some electrical components in here as well. And then two more doors underneath here. Access to a couple more things, a little narrow storage space in there. And then finally, all your house batteries in here. And last uh, compartment that you have here, this is all electrical components for the motorhome, that's all access in this panel up front. So, all right, that's pretty much all the uh, technical stuff on the outside. Again, just a absolutely beautiful looking motorhome. I really, really could see myself wanting to try. I mean, I feel like if I were to purchase something like this, I would feel like I have to use it all the time. I, I really wouldn't struggle to be like, we need to even go full time almost <laughs> just to uh, really get the full experience of what this would offer. And I think it's just so nice and so luxurious. I would literally want to be using it 24 seven. Um, another thing I like to point out too, cause your ACs are up on the roof. You have two 15,000 BTU ACs up there, but they have, you can see whenever you run an AC on a RV, um, condensation is going to come and drip off like this. But most times when you're in just like a traditional fifth wheel or something like that, they have these little spouts here that will have the water drip down. Well, this here, it's almost like they have, um, you know, some kind of, almost like a gutter system that would come through there. I don't know what to technically properly call it, but you don't see any water dripping down the coach. It just comes out the bottom right here because of how everything is kind of designed there for that water not to be seen coming down the motorhome. So another nice touch there as well. So as we go inside, you'll have your door here that you'll enter in through. You'll have the steps that come out and you can lock those into position so they stay out all the time. You also have a screen door here with a screen that will pull down. You can see the, uh, latch right there that you pull down to pull that screen down on um really nice solid um looks like you know a type of stone or solid surface sort of material coming inside and then flip up steps for storage right when you walk in so you have you know um, direct access to storage real quickly when you walk in plus this will be a step cover as well that will come out right here when you're in transport mode so you don't fall down into these steps here um, you have a nice grab handrail here when you walk inside as well, all your dash AC vents. And as we come inside, you can see really nice plush looking um, seats that you have up front. I'll kind of give you a whole scope around this motor home first. Now this is with the slide outs open currently. So the slides are open and this is in the Kingsley interior color. There are some different interior colors from Newmar, but this is in the Kingsley interior color. I'm going to set my glasses down real quick. Now that we're inside here and we'll just take a look around real fast definitely really beautiful inside here and really nice looking ceiling fixtures it's kind of cool the way they do this because you actually have ac coming out of this area but the way that they finish this off you really wouldn't even know that it's up there unless you look like directly up into the seams here so a really nice clean finish on that we'll kind of start up front and work our way back you have powerized shades here in the front and it looks like, um, I think, yeah, you actually have a day and a night shade up front there that will be powered. So two different shades. 
really nice solid hardwood cabinetry um, nice hinges on everything as well and so that'll be a little storage space a little storage space up above storage space all up through here and it looks like yeah this is all carpet lined underneath there as well all your control panels for um, things like your uh, drapes up front your awnings um, some of your slide outs things like that and then more storage up here that's all shelved out this is the same uh, hinges that we've seen in uh, the renegades I just did a video of a 2023 Renegade recently that have these similar hinges in there. These allow this door to stop at any height. So it'll stop at any height there. Now this one is a little weak, so it's kind of slightly moving down. But instead of just having one spot where it'll snap up there and then it'll snap down, it will just stop at any position you leave it at. So a nice upgraded hinge with that. Um, just some connections there for electrical components and same up here. Um, really nice different options where you have windows that will open up here same with the window on this side as well where this actually can open up while you're driving to give you just a nice breeze through here if you need it nice big window here looking out the side of your motor home and then obviously the nice big front windshield giving you a great view as you're driving that's something people absolutely love about the class a motorhomes is the view that you get while you're driving and this has again the spartan chassis here so you have the spartan badge on there, 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. This has a bunch of safety features in it, things like it, you can control how, like if you're on cruise control, you can control how closely you're following the vehicle in front of you. So if you're like in city traffic and you wanna follow a little bit more closely, you can do that. Or if you're just in open highway roads and you wanna have more distance between you and the vehicle in front of you, you can adjust all that stuff as well. It'll have um, lane assist features and all kinds of different safety features for your driving experience. You have two big dashboards here. So this is going to have built-in navigation. It also is going to know the specs of the motorhome. So it'll take you down the, bat, the best path for the size of this motorhome. Um, you'll have all your audio features and everything on here. And you're going to have a glass display here for your dash. So this will be where like your RPMs and your speed and everything is at there on that glass dash. I don't have the keys right now, unfortunately. So I don't have all this turned on. But um, it is a push to start. So you have the push start button right there and you have a charging pad here. I love this for the 2022 because the 2021 had it like up right here. They now put this at an angle. So if you're driving, you can put your phone on this here. It'll face directly towards you. Maybe you just have the navigation going on here or whatever it may be, um, but you can actually see your phone right there. It's at a nice angle for you to be able to see it. Have uh, some of your light controls right here on these switches, a couple cup holders, uh, engine brake right there, uh, mirror controls. Um, the mirrors are heated as well. You can see you have your uh, leveling controls there and then you have your Allison transmission. So this is that digital transmission that you have right here. And these seats and everything in here is this super soft. It is a synthetic uh, leather material, but oh my gosh, it is so soft. It feels like real genuine leather. Um, incredibly soft here. You do have a little table that can go into this space here for the passenger to have that table. Um, the passenger also gets a wireless charging pad there for their phone. Um, they're going to have some different controls of lights in the uh, shade as well and their own. Um, it has a two zone uh, thermostat or whatever it would be called here. So two separate zone controls there. And then the passenger, this is an option on this model where you have the passenger cam. So you can see the um, navigation and the cameras from this monitor as well. Um, really nice you'll be able to see like the backup camera make sure if you're towing something that it's still there <laughs> and the passenger here can check and make sure that if you're towing something that is still there you haven't lost it or anything like that so that passenger will have their own cam and you do have outlets and usb ports right here next to them now as we work our way back you have a retractable tv so a couple different things first of all you have your touch screen control panels all over the place so you have one right here and you also have one right here, literally one on both sides of the coach. And this is gonna control a lot of your different stuff. All your light controls, you'll have some different things too. Like I wanna show you the shades where um, put these day shades up, they're all gonna come up automatically. Now, if you wanna stop them at a certain height, just push that button again on the panel and it'll stop it at whatever height it's at. But you can see they came up all around the entire living room. Then you actually have the same thing with the TV where if you go back to the home button here, and you go to systems, you'll have the TV lift down, push that and your TV will start to go down as well. Now in this 2022 model, all of this can also be linked to your phone. So your phone can connect to the system and you can control these different components off your phone as well. That TV will go down, gives you a nice huge window here 
really, really amazing amount of natural light that comes in when you open up all these shades. And then you do have a day and a night shade on all of your windows. This table here is really nice. It is a freestanding table, so you can actually move this around and it does come with a leaf here. So I don't think I can do it with my uh, two hand or with my one hand here, but you can see how the table kind of splits there in the middle and it'll have a leaf that goes there. So if you want to put this long ways, you can add two more chairs that it'll come with to the table and have seating for four. So nice solid surface uh, tabletop there, really beautiful looking finish on that also. Absolutely beautiful. And then look at the chairs that this came with. Such a cool design on these chairs here. Really matches well with the overall aesthetic. And then something I really love about the slide out boxes on this motorhome. Look at the lip here where you can see it just drops straight down into the floor. And there is virtually no lip here. I mean, it is, I mean, it's not seamless, but it's about as close to seamless as you can get on a slide out floor there. Really nice how that just drops right down in and gives you pretty much a flat surface going into the flooring there. While we're here looking at the floor, let's get down here too, because you do have a floor sweep there. So this is going to be part of your central vac system where that'll flip up and that is going to be where you can sweep all your dust and debris there into the floor. Um, this is like a tile flooring here. So a nice solid tile floor and you do have heating through the flooring system. So that is going to be an option that's not going to be standard on every Newmar New Air but this one does have that heated floor in here as well. So you can heat the floor, which is really, really nice, nice premium feature that you get. Then directly across from the TV, so you have your recliners here, you can see your TV will go up right here. Directly across from that, you'll have your super comfortable recliner seats. I'm gonna get to these in just a minute because I don't wanna miss something over here. Don't wanna miss, first of all, let's put this TV back up real quick just so you can see it. Um, it is a Samsung TV, so lift that up. Um, let that come up. And then while we're looking at that, you also have a Bose sound bar. So really high quality premium sound bar here as well as part of your um, audio. And then as that TV's coming up, we'll look at your storage, have storage underneath here, nice big area there. Um, magnet latches to hold that in place. And then I'm guessing this will be about identical storage on the other side. Yep. And it is all carpet lined in there as well. So yeah, open this up. You can see it's a Samsung TV. So you're really just getting the best of the best. This is a 4K LED TV. I actually have the exact same TV just in a 32 inch screen at my house. That is an absolutely awesome TV. Really getting something really premium there. And then again, going back to the recliners. I mean, just look at these. Look at how big the armrests are. So, so incredibly soft. Um, if you're looking at this video, and you have any sort of interest in this motorhome, you definitely gotta come see it in person and you gotta drive it. Now I have yet to actually drive this personally myself. I have driven some stuff that's in this size range, but not this exact motorhome right here that we're standing in. But I've heard that the driving on this is absolutely amazing. Um, the foundation on here and the chassis is just so strong and solid that it makes a really, really smooth ride for this motorhome. And you definitely gotta come test drive it and check it out. Um, right here, you can see we're located right off of 45 at our Holiday World of Willis location, um, where you can get on the highway and test it out on the highway. There's some like frontage roads that we can go on here too to drive around. So definitely got to come test drive it. But as we get back to the recliners, really, really large. I mean, it's almost big enough where like I'm 185 pounds. I could literally probably sit another person right here next to me. That's how big these recliners are. So super big and comfortable. You can see you have your controls here. Let's see how flat it lays out because this is always important to me. Like, what good is a recliner if it doesn't lay down flat, right? And oh boy, does it. Oh yeah. Yep, you could easily sleep in this uh, couch there or in that recliner. You see how far back it goes? Super, super comfortable. It actually reclined really quickly too. I felt like it uh, was gonna take longer. I get worried sometimes with how long it takes for these electric recliners to go all the way back, but that was pretty quick, not too long. And you do have little lights in the cup holders as well that you can turn on. Let's see, there might be, yep, you got big storage space underneath here with your outlets and USB ports. And then a little bit more storage. Oh, I wanna point out too, you have that same leather material here too in some of your finishes around your slide outs and some of your woodwork, really soft touch, uh, that synthetic leather there that just feels really nice and looks really nice. You have some storage space in here, some glass shelving, um, kind of some decorative storage that you can use that space for. Um, soft closed cabinets and drawers on all the stuff in the kitchen area here. 
more storage down underneath here. Nice chain there to prevent that from hitting the side there. You can see the soft close feature. And then I love this pantry. You have the light that turns on when you open it up. And then all of these, you push on them to slide these open. So lots of storage in here, all solid hardwood on all the finishes throughout everything in here, obviously, as you would expect in something that is uh, in this size and quality. And then coming over to the kitchen area, again, same solid surface countertop, really nice, almost kind of like a um, charcoal gray colored um, sink here. A nice deep circular sink looks really, really clean. Tons of countertop space. You can see how big all the countertop space is there. Then you open this up, you have your uh, waste bin there that will pull out. Um, that nothing in there, that's just a decorative piece that'll flip down. Storage under here that will open up. Looks like you have uh, sink covers there to cover the sink as well. Open this up, have some separated storage here in that drawer. Soft closed drawers as well. All solid hardwood throughout the drawers. And then nice big drawer there. It also is equipped with a dishwasher. So open this up, there we go. And open that up there, have your dishwasher in here. And then one thing that was really neat that I just did not know about um, until seeing this coach is you have the induction cooktop. So what this is telling me is there's no propane on this uh, coach, but a couple things here to point out. First of all, you flip this over and you do have a actual built-in cutting board there. So. You have the cover here and then a cutting board there that you can put down like so if you need a cutting board. And then this induction cooktop, not only do you have the ability to cook here, you can actually lift this up and take this out and anywhere you can plug this induction cooktop into. So if you want to take this outside, you can take this outside to cook with. So that is pretty dang interesting as well. And definitely did not know that right away. I had to go do some research about this thing to learn these little details about this that I didn't know right off the top of my head because I have not seen that before. So that is pretty neat. Have a nice uh, chrome finish and then um, tile backsplash all throughout here. But you can see the chrome around that goes all the way to here as well. And then a squared off window here in the kitchen just letting in tons of natural light as well. Outlet up above in the cabinetry. And then you have the really huge Samsung convection oven microwave combo. This whole door panel opens up there and you have the huge cooking space in there as well. LED lighting up through the top part of this kind of um, shelving that you have there. You also have your vent fan up through here. Nice finish there to kind of conceal it away a bit. Open this up, you have, uh, it looks like this just slides out, slide out drawer there. Um, carpet line shelving all through the cabinetry. And you can see some of the bin number and actually, let's look at this real quick. The gross vehicle weight rating on this is 38,600 pounds. Um, looks like the unloaded vehicle weight rating is 35,362 pounds. And so, uh, you know what? It says minus propane weight of 4.2 pounds per gallon. So maybe this does have propane on it. That's something I actually didn't check and verify before coming in here because I didn't uh, actually think and expect to see the induction cooktop um, but that was something that, you know, sometimes they'll have the gas stove there and this one has the induction cooktop. So it doesn't use propane for the cooking. Um, you can see it's in the uh, Kingsley colorway there. So you have all your information and specs, 35 feet, 10 inches, all in this um, cabinet right there. Now let's look at the price real quick while we're here as well. Now keep in mind what we're looking at here is the MSRP price, not the actual sales price of this motorhome. But you can see all the options here that are added on to this motorhome, I'll let it sit here for just a second so you can kind of read through it. But the MSRP on it is uh, $618,500. So that is the MSRP price. Again, that is not what the sales price is there. And this is definitely a very expensive, super nice class A motorhome. So I know that is not just, you know, a small purchase for somebody looking at something in this price range. You're definitely looking at something very high end, very premium, very quality when you're looking at something like this. Now, this is something that you're interested in. I definitely recommend scheduling a time to come take a look at it in person. Um, maybe 
you're one of the you know one percent of crazy people that are like you know what i already know this is what i want and you just want to purchase it over the phone and then come down and pick it up if that's you i mean that would be amazing but i assume that anyone that's interested in this will want to come test drive it come check it out make sure it's going to work for what you want again 35 feet 10 inches great size motor home for somebody looking for something that is more luxurious but stays you know well under 40 feet so if you are interested in this RV, you can go down to the inquiry link down below in the description of this video. It'll be the first link that you see in the description. And that link there, if you want to contact somebody at this location where this exact motorhome that we're looking at is at, that is going to be the Willis location. So you can select Holiday World of Willis and someone on our motorhome team that knows this thing inside and out will help you out and get you all the information that you need on this motorhome and set up a time for you to come test drive it if that's what you want to do and get you all the information you need to help make you or to help you make an informed decision. Now, if you want to talk to me directly and want to work with me directly, you can select the Mesquite location when you go through that inquiry link and that will send it to my inbox there and then I can help you out how I best can. Um, I'm not, this store is about three hours from where I'm at on a day-to-day -day basis, but I will do everything I can to help you out if you reach out to me directly. So. That is everything there. Um, going into the bathroom, again, the luxury does not stop here. First of all, I wanna show you have your big panel here for all your controls on everything on the RV, your generator controls, climate controls, all that stuff. This will link to your phone again, so you'll have access to these different components on your phone. You also have another panel here for lights and systems, fans, shades, all that stuff. And then in the bathroom, you have a door here that will close. So nice sliding pocket door there and it'll uh, lock closed once you close that, like so. Slide that open, and we'll start with the shower because the shower is one of my favorite things. You have all tile throughout here, so the whole shower definitely feels like a spa. You already have built-in shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, um, soap dispensers, and then you have your shower system where you have kind of like the rainfall style shower head up top, and then you have the handle right here that will come out that you can use as well. And this is uh, set to an adjustable height on this one. Uh, looks like this one is set in place right there, but already super high. I am 6'2". Ceiling height in here is probably about 6'5 or 6'6". Six, six. And then I can easily stand under this without having to crouch. So this here sits above my head. I would say if you're 6'3 or shorter, you're not gonna have to duck to get under this. If you're over 6'3, you'll probably have to duck just a little bit to get under there. Then if you open or if you uh, flip this up, this is your bench here. This is a wooden bench that you have. So this will hold up to about 300 pounds. Uh, and then it's nice underneath here. You don't have like a um, typical drain that you would have in a shower. It's this seam here that allows that water to all flow into there. And then you have a three tier glass sliding door, but just literally looks and feels like a spa in there. And then this I thought was really unique too. You have the emergency exit out this door. So this is an emergency exit that's nice like if you have any sort of emergency going up in this front end of the coach there's a way to get out back here if it's ever needed hopefully that is never needed but you do have that there you have your toilet here a nice big um, porcelain toilet wooden toilet seat as well but a nice real big solid toilet that you have a little surprise it doesn't have soft a soft closed lid on it I'm like, yeah, that's definitely not soft clothes. You would think that it would have a soft clothes toilet seat lid, but it does not. Um, you have a nice night light there so you can see what you're doing. Um, if you just walk in here at night, toilet paper holder, storage all underneath here. You can see the chains on all the doors so that those don't fling open and you know hit something. Storage underneath your sink. And then a nice, this looks like, um, I don't know what the actual material is on this, but just looks really, really clean in there a stainless steel faucet, and then you have your tile and kind of chrome finish there for your backsplash in the bathroom area as well. Three-tiered shelving in the storage there. Nice little kind of, I guess you could hang some towels off of there or something like that. And then you have your towel ring as well. And then you have, get myself out of the picture for the most part, you have the, um, the lighting on the mirror there looks really, really nice. And then open this up and you'll have a two-tiered shelf system there that is all carpet lined. And again, another touchscreen control panel in here for everything. So these panels are just everywhere inside this Newmar coach to control stuff. And then going out of the bathroom, you're gonna have the Samsung refrigerator. So you open this up here, nice big residential size refrigerator. 
open this up of everything down in here and this has an ice maker in it as well so you will have the ice maker definitely want to make sure you have something in place here to hold this closed going down the road now i've heard that this you know has a very smooth smooth ride on it my dad has a residential refrigerator in his rv and he just had literally just sent me pictures of this last night his doors fling open on him while he was going down the road so he ordered a little latch to hold it in place um, that he would mount on there that was the first time he's ever had that happen where these uh, french doors there opened up and he had eggs break all over his rv so that was kind of a bummer and i really uh, broke my heart to see that because i know that's just not fun to experience that so make sure you have some sort of mechanism to keep these closed while you're going down the road just in case um then going back to the bedroom the bedroom might be my favorite place of this entire rv you have this kind of cathedral style ceiling where it is an arched ceiling here and has a really nice looking you know light fixtures all throughout here king size bed the pillows on this bed oh my goodness so incredibly soft i mean just the material that they're built with this is that same leather material that they use in the furniture that is so soft and then you have the headboard here you have a nice all your or uh, actually you know what let's use the panel here to where's the panel at right here let's open up the shades in here so i can show you what the windows look like um make sure all these lights are on too pretty sure all the lights are on so this kind of shows you how um everything works on the panel there you have all your lights are on and with the shades let's find looks like the day shade start putting those up okay cool yeah we got those all going up now oh there was i'm sorry y'all there's an all bedroom shade button right there so you can hit the all bedroom shade button they're all going to come up and you can see you have these square windows here so this is a huge window that you have above the bed for so much more natural light coming in you also have another touchscreen panel up above your bed so you don't have to get out of bed to do that as well and just a really beautiful looking bedroom space that you have and then directly across from it you're going to have your tv there another samsung 4k led tv nice double tiered or two tiered uh shelving system that you have you have all this different storage from these drawers that pull out so these will all be about the same size i don't know why i opened all three of those oh these are a bit bigger the ones in the bottom are a little bit bigger than the ones on the top and then you have the nice big tv this looks like this is at least about a 43 inch maybe a 50 inch screen tv really big it's hard to tell on the samsung's because you have the smallest bezel on the perimeter ever nice looking light strip there as well of course you have all soft touch ceiling so it's that um, same kind of synthetic leather material there with the soft touch and then this is a um, option on here that this one came with that we ordered it with the washer dryer connections or the washer dryer installed sorry so you have the splendid um, and i think that's how you pronounce that brand um, washer dryer in here and then back in the closet space um, you have this little flip down thing here that you can use to make sure that this doesn't open on you going down the road flip that up and then you're good to go open up this here this is your leaf for the table right there so you can put this leaf there in the table that will allow you to um, expand that table and get more seating you can also see your additional chairs back here that you can use and then you have some shelving space back here in the closet you have this uh panel here that will open up to get to some of your uh, breakers and fuses it looks like all through there and then you have a built-in safe so we'll actually go in through the other side to see that built-in safe that you have right here so you have a safe in here as well you have your clothing rod up along the top to hang different clothes and then you have these latches that will hold that in place really nice looking bedside table lights or um, bedside I, what would these be called lamps i guess i don't know what the technical term of what i'm thinking in my head but really nice looking light fixture that you have and then some more storage down underneath here on the bedside soft clothes on that as well and then coming over here same thing over here um you have outlets under there as well that you can kind of see there you go have your outlets and usb ports you can see you have this little 
um, opening there that they can feed through, your wires can feed through, so you can easily get to them. And just a really beautiful looking space back here. Uh, the mattress that it comes with, this looks like, it's like a pillow top mattress. Um, I know a lot of people might wanna switch this out. This is just a king size mattress. Um, I know a lot of people are picky with their mattresses, but it's a nice mattress. It's not bad at all. It's like a nice pillow top mattress that you get. Don't know that there's anything under the bed. Oh, there is, okay, cool. You have some storage space under here too. Not super deep. Um, as far as the you know depth of the storage but you do have storage space under there and it looks like it's access panels to different stuff underneath there as well if you ever need to get to that stuff that's under there and then that is pretty much it so let me know what you think of this motorhome uh, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and i would love to help you out if you're purchased if you are personally interested in making this motorhome yours all right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, again, I am in a sales position if you missed this part. I do not get paid to come out here and make these videos. I drove three hours down here to this Willis store from my Dallas store just to get videos of these RVs for y'all in hopes that maybe someone like you is watching this video down the road, see something you like out of this RV or maybe another RV. Or maybe you just take a personal liking to me and would like to get whatever RV you're looking for from me. I would love to help you out with that. So you can either text me at the number on the screen, somewhere up there I believe is where it will be, or there's a link down below in the description that you can go and leave your contact information so as soon as I'm available, I can get in touch with you. Select the Mesquite location when you go through that link for that to come directly to my inbox. Or if you wanna select one of our other locations, our Houston area stores are where you're gonna be able to see this particular motorhome in person. This one is here at our Willis store right now. And our Katy store in Houston carries some stuff like this as well. So those are a couple areas you can go look as well. If you maybe don't wanna work with me, maybe you don't like me, which is okay. Or if you just wanna go test drive one of these. So that's everything I got for y'all. Hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you out camping.